he's truly working his dream job. With the help of his dad, he took his love for crazy socks and turned it into a multi-million dollar business. Take a look at this video from our friends at Now This. Dow did wrong. Never hold me back. John and his father, Mark, from John's Crazy Socks, are joining us via Skype. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, good afternoon. Hi, how you doing? Hello. We, we do have to draw attention to the one thing real quick. We are actually wearing mm -hmm. your socks right now. Yes. Right. Look at that. Superhero. Superhero. Oh, you got the superhero socks. Sorry, Kelly, my foot's in your face. Oh, you're fun. And I have the puzzle socks on, the jigsaw puzzles. I love my puzzles. These are awesome. You are fashion trend leader. We are oh, trend We want to see socks and pumps. Yes. <laughs> it's very 80s. It's, it's very fun. 80s. <laughs> I got to say, man, seriously, though, we I put these socks on. They're some of the most comfortable socks I've ever worn. That's very cool. I love the design. Where did you guys get the idea for this? The idea for the sock business started back in the fall of 2016. John here was entering his last year of school, right? And looking around, trying to figure out, what am I going to do? And what'd you come and say? I, I come and say, I'll go to be with my dad. So that was pretty good. He wanted to be in business with his pop. Yep. That's what he said. Yeah. Um, and he came up with a couple of different ideas. What were some of your ideas? A fun store. A fun store? Uh-huh. A food truck? Yeah. Cool. What was the problem with the food truck, I though? I can't cook. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Me either. But then yeah. he came and said, you can't cook either, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but then, what'd you come and say? I, I, I said, I want your socks. Right. And who does love socks? Because it's fun, colorful, I love it creative, I like, I like, let me be me. Pretty cool, huh? I love it. Absolutely. So John had the idea, and what we wanted to do was test it at first. Let's see how people would respond. We built a simple website. We got a little bit of inventory. The only marketing we did, we set up a Facebook page with some videos with John talking about his socks. Wow. And you came up with a catchphrase. What was I that? Did. Sock, sock, and more socks. <laughs> uh, and what day did we open? December 9, 2016. December 9, 2016, just to test it. Yeah. Um, we weren't quite sure what would happen, and we were real grateful we got flooded with orders. How many different sock styles do you sell now? What do we got? How many different socks? Uh, 1900. 1900. 1900 different socks. 1900 socks. We've got something for everybody. We for want to be everyone. the world's largest sock store. So we got you know, gift so gift boxes, gift bags, sock of the month club. Yep. We and got your favorite, right? Uh, yeah, a Monday Madness mystery bag. The Monday Madness mystery bag. Oh. Ooh, fun. We have some examples here in the studio right now. What? What? Who comes up with these crazy designs? Um, well, there are many of them. We resell socks from other people, but we make our charity and awareness socks. So, for example, you're showing the Down Syndrome superhero sock. Those are the one I'm wearing. John, I, I, he designed I, that sock. I did. I drew the picture. So oh, with that wow. started with John drawing a cartoon picture with crayons of what he thought a Down Syndrome superhero would look like. He revised it a few times. Yeah, that's one of his drawings. That's amazing. John's Crazy Socks is part of a larger mission, right? We do more than just want to sell socks. So we give back. We create, you know, we have uh, four key pillars. The first two are inspiration and hope. It's showing what can happen when you give someone a chance. It's hiring people with disabilities. So we now have 30 five employees, 15 of whom, because we hired someone new today, have a disability. We want to show the world what's possible when you give someone that opportunity. Absolutely. And we make sure we give back. 5% of our earnings go where? A better Olympic, because I did better Olympic alley. Right? Um, and we raise money for our charity partners. So 
like the National Down Syndrome Society, Autism right. Speaks. We've raised $100,000 so far. Wow, that's incredible. That's really great. That's amazing. And you weren't just in, I heard you won some awards in the Special Olympics, is that true? What about you, you bring any medals home? I did. Yeah. I bring the medals. <laughs> there yeah. he is, buddy. Oh my gosh, From congratulations. <laughs> You're looking good, John. Yeah, thank you. Dad, what's your favorite thing about working with John, with your son? Well, um, I get to see this young man grow every day. I get to see him keep demonstrating what's possible and what he can do. And there's no limits, right? Now, he's grown, he's, it was his idea to start this business. And okay. we've now grown this business where we have presidents like President Bush wearing our socks, Prime Minister Trudeau wearing our socks. We have TV stars I, I got, like Kevin James Kevin wearing Shane, our socks. Chris, and now we have Kelly and Ben wearing our socks. We are um, honored. It's happening right now, man. We are so honored. what we get to do every day. Every day we come in here and we get to see this place filled up with people who couldn't get a job elsewhere, people wouldn't give them a chance. Right. And every day they come in here and produce. Right, give us a chance. It's good stuff. Absolutely. It's great stuff. Great, amazing stuff.